Let's go shopping. When I talk about eating healthy, eating plant-based, one of the first things people say to me is, I'd love to do that, but it's just too expensive. And that's because there is this idea, this powerful entrenched idea that healthy eating, healthy lifestyle, the vegan lifestyle is something that is reserved for the well-heeled elite only. But is this really true? Well, to find out, my son Trapper and I decided to hit up some markets around town and see what we could get for $25 or less. You ready to make a video? So at Erewhon, we picked up two fresh pressed juices. Sorry, uh, I drank this one and Tra no, I drank this one, Trapper drank this one. And the grand total for this outing was $24. $24 for two juices. Next stop, Gelson's. Thank you. All right, we did a little bit better at Gelson's. Instead of two juices, this time we got three. Three suges. And the grand total for this outing was 24.12. 12 cents more, one extra juice. Next stop, Whole Foods. superfood section. I love goji berries. Like goji berries? Goji berries are great. How are you doing? Doing good. Alright, there you guys go. Thank you. Thank you guys have a good one. Awesome. You too. Here's what we got at Whole Foods. One bag of goji berries. And the grand total for this outing was $26.99. So that was kind of a failure. We went over our budget by almost $2 for what is essentially dried fruit. Exotic dried fruit, delicious dried fruit, very nutritious dried fruit, but nonetheless, dried fruit. It is really good though. All right, let's huddle up and take a halftime break. At this point, you must be thinking, man, I'm gonna have to be making some serious bank in order to be vegan, or, you know, just dial up my plate and eat more plant-powered or healthy. Well, look, if you buy all your foods at fancy high-end markets, places like we have out here in California, like Gelson's and Erewhon and Whole Foods, then, yeah, that's the deal. It is gonna be expensive. It can be very expensive, all the way to downright completely unaffordable for most people, especially if you're not paying attention or you're overly focused on crazy specialty superfood items like the goji berries we bought, or you venture beyond the simple basics like produce. Don't get me wrong. I'm not hating on places like Whole Foods. I love me a nice high-end market, but you gotta be selective about what you get there. And Nobody said you have to shop at any of these places in order to be vegan or simply more focused on eating healthy foods. Next up, Trader Joe's. Do you think we're over? A little bit, a couple dollars. 
What's your price prediction? I'd say $28. $28? Yes, I'm going with 28. We might be a little over. Hi, how are you guys doing? Good, how's it going? Good, thank you. Find everything all right? Why will they come home? We made it, we're under 25. <laughs> oh, good job. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Thanks. Look at all this produce and a pineapple. All this at Trader Joe's for a grand total of $24.43, under budget. All right, we're going off the beaten path a little bit for this one, uncharted territory. I'm on Have you this, been to this place before? I've never been here. Yeah, it's a trip. Can you look at that? Little How bit. heavy is that? Uh, pretty freaking heavy, man. I'm, I'm... 20 pounds of rice. Four pounds of red kidney beans. Your mom shops in here all the time. Do you know that? You really? Yeah. I did not buy it. Do you have a look? Uh, just these two. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. We killed it at the Indian market. 20 pound bag of rice, four pound bag of kidney beans. A family of four can eat on this for like a week. With this much rice and beans, you can make chili, you can make vegan burritos. It provides the basis for a billion different healthy recipes. Grand total, $24.99, one cent under budget. Trevor, have you ever been in Vallarta? Can't say I have. It's gonna be interesting. Let's go find out. Um, sorry, but they can record any video sites. So oh, no. 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 You want to do it, you call corporate office. Yeah? Oh. Yeah. Sorry All right. about that. Okay. All right, thanks. No problem. <laughs> we got shut down. So we're gonna resort to plan B. Let's put this back and regroup. Are you kidding me? Grand total at Vallarta, 2368. Check it out. Granted, this was hardly some kind of hardcore, exhaustive research project that controlled for all variables. I was just having fun. And there are plenty of items at places like Whole Foods that are more affordable than the items that we selected. And vice versa, the foods we sourced at the lower end markets aren't organic and they're not locally grown. And I'm well aware that there are plenty of farmers markets and co-ops and other grocery stores and grocery store chains that we didn't visit. But I think I made my point. If you missed it, it goes like this. The idea that eating plant-based is just too expensive, that's just contempt prior to first-hand investigation. It's just lazy. If you do it right and you do it smart, I think you'll be really surprised. You could dial up your plate in ways that can make it even cheaper than eating conventionally. So don't buy into the hype. Trapper, time to work. Sorry. 